Well, good morning, everyone. Trying out a new camera right now. I just got this one, and um, I just can't get, I couldn't get the problems to stop with the old one with the, just constantly getting dust in the lens and everything and trying to clean it, and it just not working so good for me. So I'm trying out a new camera right now. Um, try to do my best in terms of uh, keeping the videos looking good and everything else. And so, uh, but I wanted to say this, that uh, about um, some news here, and that is they are trying to take our property from us. What's this about? Well, uh, we bought this property in September of 2017. There's a whole bunch of birds flying over there. Um, bought this property in September of 2017 and um, got a very good deal on it, offered less than what they were asking. And, you know, there have been people, some of the people on the road and neighbors and whatever else, and they've asked us different questions. Are you building back in there? And which we didn't build, you know, for a long time because of the Wolfton issue. <clears throat> but um, recently we've gotten three offers this year now to buy parts of the property. There's actually two different lots that I bought. It's one property technically, but it's still deeded as two different properties. Well, in January, we had an offer for the property I'm standing on right now. February, we had another offer for the property I'm standing on right now. And these are from completely people out of state, out of the state of Maine. And then here in, in March, last month, it's April 2nd right now, in March, we had an offer for our property over that way, the part of our property that's over on that side. So I find it kind of a little bit odd, the timing, because Wolfton, as they're failing, we're one of the most outspoken people, we were one of the most outspoken people against Wolfton in this area. And I find it kind of strange that they basically knew that they were going to fail late last year, 2023, November, December or so, right in there, there was a lot of opposition to Wolfton. And <clears throat> I think that they realized not looking too good. And I find it kind of weird, the timing, that now all of a sudden we're getting companies from outside of the state wanting to purchase my land here. Very weird. <clears throat> um, and the other thing is too, I've been hearing from other people that, uh, going on right now in America, there's a lot of uh, Chinese companies that are basically trying to buy up land. And so there's that as well. I'm wondering, okay, these, they're supposedly American men, you know, real estate investors that want to buy my land all of a sudden, out of the blue, that's kind of odd. But <clears throat> I'm wondering if they're just fronts for China, communist China, trying to buy my land here. And it's a good spot, you know, this is a, a very, good area of northern Maine. Um, we're not far from Baxter State Park here, <clears throat> the north entrance to Baxter State Park. So it's kind of a famous area and whatever. Baxter State Park, if you don't know, is the start of the Appalachian Trail if you're going from north to south, which some people do that or some people start from south and then come up here north. But um, so I don't know. Give me your thoughts on that. I have a lot of very informed viewers and I always appreciate hearing what your what your thoughts are. Another thought I had too by the way, I'll say this one yet, is um, the possibility of this, you know, the issue of the great taking and they realize that this property is paid for and they're thinking to themselves, oh, if we could get that property, you know, it's one property that's not there's no debt on it, so it's going to be kind of hard to just take it from me because it's been paid for for all of these years. You know, I have the land deed and everything else. There's no liens on the property. There's no anything. I went, you know, through a lawyer and got everything taken care of. I have the original papers and, you know, all of it for this property. Um, I think this property was originally, um, it goes back to something sometime in the 1800s. I forget the exact year, 1820 or something like that, or 1840. But, uh... You know, I'm the current owner. Nobody else has any rights to this land. 
Um, and I pay all my property taxes, so they can't get me on that either. So um, maybe that's part of the reason. They're ready to, getting ready to do the uh, great, great taking, and they want to try to buy up land that's paid for. I don't know. Um, but I, I did have to laugh at the last one, and this guy, you know, had this whole big sales thing, and, you know, um, <laughs> about, you know, you could sell this property since you're clearly not using it or something. Uh, yes, I am. And, uh, and you could help, you know, the, the money would help you to pay off your debts. <laughs> and I thought, uh, well, you don't know me too good, do you? Uh, I'm not in debt. Uh, I have no debt. Uh, thanks to the Lord and, and following his word, um, doing what's right. And that's why we are debt free. And I'm very thankful to see that a lot of people are actually paying off their debts. I've had multiple people contact me and say, brother, thank you to your preaching or thanks to your preaching. We've actually paid off our debts. We've gotten ourselves out of debt and we're so thankful for that. Praise the Lord. That's great to hear. And, um, so, and you know, the more people pay off their debts, get all their, their papers and everything else, get their deed, everything into their name. The bank doesn't have any more rights to the property. Um, it's going to be a lot more difficult for the banksters to come in and steal land from people. And that's what I'm hoping for. Again, that's part of the reason why I said this whole thing of, you know, get out of debt, because that will short circuit the plans of the, uh, you know, collateralized debt situation and whatever with this great taking thing. So, but let me know your thoughts. I'm going to, we're going to head to the office. When we get to the office, I'll show you the three letters. I'm not going to read them or whatever else, um, but I'll show you the three different letters and that we got. And uh, really like to know people's thoughts on this whole thing because I'm kind of curious. It just seems kind of odd why all of a sudden this year, every month we're getting an offer. It's kind of a, okay, that's a little bit weird. So, and we've never gotten any offers before. Never. Never had anybody, I mean, I've, I've met people in the area here and the one guy, I had an old backhoe at the office and they came and they wanted to know if they could buy it. And I said, well, I don't know if it runs. So quite frankly, if you want it, you can have it, you know, and I helped them to get it up out of the backyard and everything. And, and, uh, I don't know if they got the thing running or not, a farmer in the area. And he was telling me how his grandfather used to own this land and this, you know, the, out in here, these, this used to be fields. And um, they would, he said, you know, I was up there all the time as a boy, you know, helping my grandfather to tick, pick potatoes and things. And, and this, this plot here was the fields. And then over there, it's, it's the other plot has just always been wooded as far as I understand. But there used to be a house on this property right over that way. There was a house. I talked to the guy who grew up on this property. He's got a cabin right down the road. Um, the burned out area is still over there and a lot of their stuff is still over there on the ground and things. A lot of broken glass, unfortunately, from where their place burned. But, you know, I've talked to people and nobody ever said, hey, would you like to sell the place or something? But now all of a sudden this, uh, I've had three, one a month, every month this year. Three different offers from people that aren't even in the state of Maine. So... Very weird, but we're going to head to the office now. Filling that. Nice uh, condition of the lane right now, as you can see. Spring thaw in the north, always fun. But um, uh, we'll head to the office, I'll show you the letters. So, see you then. All right, here we have the three different letters, one, two, and three. And I'll show you the addresses for these things. If you've heard of these, let me know. Beaver, Van, Beaver Valley Land, LLC, Casper, Wyoming. The date of February 16th, 2024. There's the symbol for it. Here you have Terrain Trade from Traverse City, Michigan. Purchase agreement there. And then down here we have uh, Red Stag Land Company. And it's... Um, I'll show you here, it's uh, from North Carolina. So very weird to see three different uh, letters here all trying to get our land. 
And um, these two here were for the uh, one the smaller part, portion of our land. This one is for the bigger portion of our land. And they're all very insulting low prices too, by the way, I would say. So trying to get me if you know, thinking I'm desperate or something to sell, which is not happening anytime soon. But just uh, weird, I'd like to know your thoughts. Are these Chinese front companies? Uh, Americans that are selling out to China, in other words, that they're buying land to give it to Chinese investors? I have to wonder. Let me know your thoughts.